want more videos like this, just subscribe to our channel. Being aware of your body and what is going on inside of it is really important, especially when it comes to preventing health issues and any complications that might arise from some of them. If you are not sure whether something's wrong with you, here are a few simple home tests to help you find out more about your overall health and well-being. These home tests will give you an opportunity to read the signs your body sends you, as well as help you form a clear idea of what sort of issues you should discuss about with your doctor during your next health checkup. 10 Simple at Home Health Tests Test your iron levels by pushing your fingers. This simple test will help you find out whether you have iron deficiency. Hold out one of your hands, and then hold your palm up. Next. Push your fingers back and watch how your palm becomes pale. Notice whether the deep lines on your hand also turn pale. If they do, this might mean that you are anemic, probably due to iron deficiency in your diet. Make a blood test to see if you are truly anemic, and if you are, consider increasing your intake of red meat and green leafy vegetables. Your eyes can tell you whether your cholesterol levels are high. Do you have any yellow bumps above or below your eyes? If you do, this might indicate you have increased cholesterol levels. Please have a checkup with your GP as soon as you can. Are you at risk of cancer? Count your taste buds. By counting the taste buds in this particular tongue area, you can find out if you have an increased risk of cancer. To do this test you will need some blue food coloring and a cotton bud or pad. Put some of the food coloring on the cotton bud or pad and swab your tongue with it. Then, using a magnifying glass, start counting the blue dots near the front part of your tongue. These are actually your taste buds, and if you have more than 20 such blue dots, it means you have great sense of taste. Read a license plate to test your vision. Is your vision good? Try to read the number plate of a car from a distance of 20 full strides. If you have trouble doing this or there is any blurring or distortion, this might indicate you are not seeing well enough to be legally safe to drive without glasses or contacts. Do you have candida? Your spit can tell if you do. To test for candida, take a glass of water and spit in it. Do this in the morning. If your spit goes grey after half an hour, or white tendrils start growing out of it, it might mean you have candida. This issue can be triggered by low immunity and issues with digestion, and it is also commonly associated with fatigue and allergies. Squeezing your legs can tell a lot about your salt intake. Using your thumb, press down in 3 to 4 places up and down your legs. Once you remove your thumb, check whether the areas remain pale or white for a few seconds. If they do, it may indicate that you have fluid retention. Another indication of this issue is having puffy ankles and knees. Limiting your salt intake and cutting out processed food from your diet can help you treat this issue. In addition, increasing your daily water intake will help flush out the excess sodium. Try to burp to test your nutrient absorption. To find out whether you are absorbing all the essential nutrients you need from the foods you consume, perform this simple test. Dissolve a tablespoon of baking soda, bicarbonate of soda, into a glass of water, and drink the solution. If you burp right away, this is a good sign. When an alkaline substance, in this case baking soda, is added into an acid environment, your stomach, gas is created, and therefore it makes you burp. However, if you don't burp, this might indicate that your acid levels are low and thereby your nutrient absorption is also low. Clench your muscles to test your pelvic floor strength. For a few seconds, clench your pelvic floor muscles while sitting. Release and repeat as many times you can. It is a good sign if you can do at least 16 clenches. However, anything less than 10 clenches indicates that your pelvic floor is weak, thereby increasing your risk of stress incontinence and sexual issues. Check your pulse to test for a food intolerance. Perform this test if you suspect that the bloating and discomfort you experience after eating certain foods might be linked to food intolerance. First, take your pulse, and then sit down and have a portion of the food you suspect is causing the problem. Afterwards, check your pulse again. If it has increased by more than 10 beats per minute, it is likely you have a food intolerance. 
It is advised against using this test to check food allergies. Allergies must be diagnosed by a professional only. Blow out a candle, test your lungs. This test will show you whether your lung capacity is good and whether you have certain risks. Light a candle and step away from it at least 30 centimeters. Take a breath and exhale through your mouth fully. If you didn't succeed in blowing out the candle, this might be a warning sign of asthma. Nevertheless, if you don't have other symptoms, such as nighttime coughing, but still failed, you should probably start improving your general fitness.